everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a nativity theme project. N the nativity and the birth of Jesus is the greatest story ever told, and it's important that we celebrate and honor that here at Christmas time. Christmas is rapidly approaching, and the greatest story ever told is the main reason for the season. Steve has some awesome design in this pattern. It is a two-page pattern, and as you can see, I've already got it semi-attached to our material, which is three-quarter inch pine. I've got it attached partly with clear packing tape. Some of the details are the three wise men bringing gifts to the newborn king, the angel, the star, the mountainscape, the animals from the stable yard, and of course, the stable itself with Mary Joseph and baby Jesus in it. Really, really awesome design. Right now what we're going to do is move the camera to the table saw so we can rip off our excess and then finish attaching the pattern with the rest of the clear packing tape and get started. And over here on the table saw we're going to trim the project to its final dimensions and then head over to the workbench and apply clear packing tape to hold the pattern in place and then we'll head over to the drill press to drill all of our pilot holes for internal cutting. The clear packing tape that we use helps lubricate the scroll saw blade and we're gonna begin scrolling. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2 11 I am using number five reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades for all the cutting on this project and even though the material is three quarter inches thick the blade is cutting exceptionally well a very simplistic design with not a lot of tedious cuts but the imagery is powerful if you guys would like to try this pattern you can download it for free over at Steve Goods scroll saw workshop dot com website over in the pattern catalog just going through here getting all the internal cuts done doing the manger here which had the most tedious cuts but I'm just taking my time with it and letting the blade do the work not rushing any of the cuts and next we will do the final internal cut which is the mountain scene in the back Again, not a very complex pattern, but the story told in the imagery is the greatest story ever told, and that is the birth of Jesus Christ. And now that all the scroll work is done, we will go and stain everything with Minwax stain. There was really no need for sanding. The number five blades cut exceptionally well. And while that's drying, if you are very careful with your cuts, you can have a second nativity scene from the off cuts. Really cool. And once the piece was completely dry, I brought it outside and applied several coats of clear gloss spray lacquer. This is the Rust-Oleum clear gloss, and I let that dry for a few hours, and the project was complete. And here we have the completed nativity scene and it came out amazing thank you Steve good for another amazing design from your catalog 
everything came out nice and crisp and you can easily tell what everything is the three wise men Mary Joseph and baby Jesus the animals the mountain the star and the angel but really really cool this is the true story of Christmas y'all it's not Merry Xmas it's Merry Christmas but really really cool it took me around 35 45 minutes to cut this out again it's pine wood and as you can see if you take your time and work with pine it will make some beautiful and produce some beautiful work we stained it at the end with golden oak stain and then clear coated it making the grain pop as you can see there in the light but really really cool I had fun making this and with it being three quarter inch thick it can easily free stand by itself it does not need a foot or nothing to stand or to aid it in standing I would really like to see someone make this and put it in a window and maybe put an LED strip behind it to light up all the figures or maybe on a table somewhere but really really cool you can add a backer board but I prefer it like this to be able to let the light shine through kinda like a meaning of Christmas but really really cool I had fun making this I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate that's about all for this one. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.